today has to be the day. The Phillies are trying to not only find a little offense, but also find a fourth or fifth starter, depending on who you ask. Today, it's Vince Velasquez, who Gabe Kapler told, here's the baseball, take advantage of this, take this spot away from everybody else. And JT Romuto staring up into the sunny sky looking for it and he'll make the catch just to the right of the plate in foul territory. There is one away. In steps Curtis Granderson. Another one popped up. Romuto shading his eyes from the sun. Makes the catch. Cooper who was not in the lineup last night. Next pitch. Swing a little tapper out in front of the plate. In to get it is Velasquez. Bare hand pick. Winds up and fires his strike to Hoskins. And there's an easy inning to start things today for Vince Velasquez. Three and one to Harper. Here's the righty's pitch. Up and away, ball four. Yeah, the Phillies have the leadoff hitter aboard for Reese Hoskins. And Hoskins can't catch up with that. Tipped it into the glove of Castillo. So three six to put out at second base on the fielder's choice. And with two outs, it'll bring up JT Real Muto. Here's the pitch. And a ball smacked hard, but right to Rojas. He goes over to second where Castro covers, and that's all for Real Muto. Two up, two down. He'll bring up right fielder Cesar Huelo. Swing and a miss. Threw him a slider, picked up his first strikeout. Six up, six down for Vince Velasquez. Eliezer Hernandez delivers to Gene Segura. And Hernandez gets them to chase the slider. His second strikeout. Second walk issue by Hernandez. And it brings Velasquez up, the number eight hitter. Wing and a miss, strike three. And that brings the inning to a close. Ball and two strikes to JT Riddle to begin the third. One two pitch is hit high in the air, deep right center field. Harper back, turns, looks. Goodbye, JT Riddle. He has hit a home run his fourth of the season and the Marlins go up one nothing in the third home runs have been a major issue for the Phillies who now have given up a National League high 126 home runs this season. Now Bryce Harper coming up he walked his first time up Phillies look for their first hit minor out to right field doesn't have the height it is gone home run for Bryce Harper and he's just tied this ball game up it's a one one game. If you blinked when he hit that, you didn't see it go out. It was out in a flash. 3 2. Swung on, ripped. Deep center field. Going back, Riddle to the track. At the wall, it's gone. And for the first time this season, Harper and Hoskins go back to back. For Hoskins, it's his 16th home run of the season, and it's 2 to 1 Phillies. King Gree, who uh, in the month of June has an OPS of over 1,100. The 0 2 inside check swing. Kingery thinks he might have been hit by the pitch. Now they say he went out. around, so it doesn't matter. It's a strikeout. Gabe Kapler bounces out of the dugout. I did not think he swung at it. Neither did I. This is about as demonstrative as I've seen Kapler. Yeah. Giotti has tossed it. Kind of one on two here, LA. Yeah. As Gabe Kapler has been ejected from this game, and he is getting more than a couple of words in kudos to Cap. he needs to do something he wants to get things going and fire this team up and get something going on to second base goes Hernandez in the wild pitch little dribbler left side right through the vacant hole at shortstop Cesar's around third heading for home Harper to second he is out at second base the run does score it's three to one Marlins have two on here in the seventh. Set up looking to turn two. The pitch to Castro is a hot smash. Pass a shortstop base hit left center. Cooper waved at third. He's going to score. And the Marlins cut it to a run 3-2. To Dubre Ramos into the action now. His 17th game this year. First ball hitting a drive down the right field line. That's a fair ball off the wall. Coming around third base, Castro. He's going to score. Pueyo coming home. The throw not in time. And Castillo. In a major league game for the first time in 10 years and two days, rips a go-ahead two-run double in the seventh. Marlins go up four to three. What a story. Runners on first and third. Can't overstate how important this run is right here. And now Anderson lifts one to left field. Bruce is back, and he's going to have to play this one off the wall. Granderson will score. Anderson's got to hustle back, and now he's caught up in between first and second. Cooper had to wait to see if Bruce was going to make the catch and Anderson must have been watching the ball thinking it was a sure double. Man coming to the plate with the up by a couple. 
The 0-2, and Harper grounds one up the middle. Rojas has it, steps on second. One back to first, double play. 6-3 to erase the leadoff runner. Phils have Hoskins at first with two down. They shift against Bruce, three men on the right side, and Bruce looks a fly ball, shallow left. Out goes Anderson, he's got it measured, and crossing into foul ground makes the catch to end the inning. So Wei and Chen gets the two tough lefties, Harper and Bruce. And now Segura. Over toward third, that's a base hit down the left field line. Segura hustling around first, heading to second, he'll get there. That means the tying run is coming to the plate. The stretch by Chin. The line drive out to left field, that's going to drop for a hit. Segura will stop at third, he had to wait and make sure that ball wasn't going to be caught. So first and third. And here comes Roman, he kicks, 3-2. Ball four, the bases are loaded. Cesar's had a good day, he has two hits already. Looks like a changeup's on its way. Popped up, <laughs> shallow center, it's Castro, it's a Marlins win. The first big league save for Jose Quijada.